In this video, I will show you how to use a flex sensor with an Arduino. Before we look at connecting things to the Arduino, let's take a look at the physical sensor. These sensors are available in different sizes, and regardless of the size, they are really just a type of variable resistor where, as the name implies, the resistance changes as they flex or bend. So, for example, here I have my multimeter connected to one of the shorter sensors set to measure resistance in the 200 kilo ohm range. And we can see that the sensor has a resistance of about 26 or 27 kilo ohms when it is straight. And that goes all the way up over 100 kilo ohms if I bend it about 180 degrees. Let's switch over to Tinkercad Circuits, which is a free online Arduino simulator that lets us see the circuit and the code side by side at the same time. So this is a pretty convenient tool. We have a separate tutorial video about it linked in the description of this video in our Arduino playlist. To connect the sensor to your Arduino, it is important to remember that an Arduino cannot measure resistance directly. Its analog input can measure a changing voltage. So to effectively measure this resistance change of the sensor, you need to build a circuit called a voltage divider by putting the sensor in series with another resistor. So I have my flex sensor, which has two pins put into the breadboard here. One of those pins is connected to ground, but the other pin is connected to a large resistor. The exact value that works best here is going to depend on the resistance range of your particular flex sensor, but very roughly speaking, something in the 10 to 100 kilo ohm range is a good starting point. The one end of that resistor is connected to one pin of the flex sensor, and then the other end of that resistor is connected to 5 volts. This forms a circuit called a voltage divider, which divides the 5 volts from the Arduino and creates a changing output on the middle pin here that goes to one of the Arduino's analog inputs. So as you will see in a minute, as the sensor bends, the voltage at this pin will change, and that gets read by the Arduino. We can see that here, if we connect a multimeter in the simulator, we see when the sensor is straight, we are getting 1.15 volts on that pin, but if I bend the sensor in the simulation, that voltage changes, and as you'll see in the code in a minute, we are going to read that changing voltage using the analog read command for one of the Arduino's analog inputs. Before we check out the code, you'll see that I also have a bunch of LEDs hooked up here as outputs in this circuit, but we cover those in one of the earlier videos in our Arduino tutorial playlist, so I'm not going to cover them in this video. Again, if you need to learn how to do that, the link to the entire playlist is in the description of this video. Now let's take a look at the code. I will put a link to this Tinkercad circuit in the video description so you can copy and paste the code if you want, but for now I'm going to go through it line by line and explain how it works. So first we declare variables for the sensor. We have one for the sensor pin and one for the sensor reading. Then we have variables for all of the LED pins. And in our setup function, we set those LED pins as outputs using the pin mode command. And we initialize serial communication so we can look at our sensor reading in the serial monitor. In our loop function, we read the sensor value using the analog read command. And then we print that variable to the serial monitor. And this is going to be useful for calibrating your sensor depending on what you want to do with it. So you should do this with your physical sensor, not in Tinkercad, since your sensor's resistance values will probably differ from the one in this simulator. But you can bend the sensor and look at the output on the serial monitor, and that is going to help you decide what thresholds to use in your code for activating things with the sensor. In this example, I am controlling this series of five LEDs, but you might be doing something else like controlling a motor or printing out variables to an LCD screen, all of which we have tutorials for in our Arduino playlist. But in this case, I want to turn on these LEDs successively as I bend the sensor farther. So I have a series of if statements with different threshold levels to turn on certain LEDs. So for example, if I bend the sensor really far, and that variable goes all the way above 500, then I'm going to turn on all five LEDs, but as the value gets lower, I only turn on a few of the LEDs until if the value is all the way down here below 300, then none of the LEDs are on. And again, doing some trial and error with bending the sensor and looking at the output in the serial monitor is what allowed me to choose these thresholds in the if statements 
so the LEDs turn on at the proper time as I bend the sensor. To recap, these sensors are pretty simple to use, you just have to remember that your Arduino cannot read resistance changes directly, it reads changes in voltage, so you need to set up a voltage divider circuit using a large value external resistor in series with the sensor, and then read the middle pin of that voltage divider on one of your Arduino's analog in pins, and then you just use the analog read function like you would with any other analog sensor, and then you can do whatever you want with that sensor value in your code like controlling LEDs or something else like a motor. We hope you found this video helpful. You can check out our YouTube channel for many other Arduino tutorials, and for lots of cool science and engineering projects you can do with an Arduino, visit our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.